Hi there again. I just finished reading Elmer, and I'm going to read this book too today. This is called In the Forest. I love this one too. This one does not have the colorful pictures that Elmer has. It has black and white pictures, which also includes gray, I think. But it's a great story and wonderful imagination. I'll start reading it now. This is by, story and pictures by, Marie Hall Etz. This book won a big prize when it came out. There's a boy with a little bugle or trumpet at the front of the book, inside. And he's telling the story. He, the little boy's talking. He says, I had a new horn and a paper hat. You can see he's in the forest or going into the forest. And I went for a walk in the forest. A big wild lion was taking a nap, but he woke up when he heard my horn. Do, 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 do. Look, he, the lion's the king of the jungle. He's got his crown there near him. And he's also got a comb <laughs> to brush his mane, I guess. The comb is mane. Where, where are you going? He said to me. May I go too if I comb my hair? So the lion combed his hair and he came too. Boy, and he stood up. There they go, and he's playing this horn again as the lion follows him on continuing on his walk. When I went for a walk in the forest, two elephant babies were taking a bath. Look at that. They're spraying each other, having such a good time. But they stopped their splashing when they saw me. Hey, wait for us, they said as they dried their ears. They have nice towels to dry with. Somebody takes good care of them. Oh, that's my hand. I wondered, what is, what is the blossoms or fruit on that tree? But See that? But it's my hand. <laughs> one put on his sweater. One put on his shoes. And the elephant babies came along too. When I went for a walk in the forest. So they're all marching in a straight line following him as he plays his bugle some more. Two big brown bears sat under a tree. They were counting peanuts and eating jam. Mm -hmm. I like to eat peanut butter and jam. I have some of those in my refrigerator. <laughs> Wait a minute, they call. We want to come too, guys. So they picked up their peanuts and their spoon for the jam. And the big brown bears came to. All the animals are walking, it looks like, on two legs like people. They sure are happy to join this parade. wonder if they'll give anybody, everybody some peanut butter and jelly. When I went... For a walk in the forest. A mother and father kangaroo were teaching their baby how to hop. Gee, the kangaroos have some drums against leaning against the tree. Oh, we'll bring our drums, the mother said. And our baby is no bother at all. I carry him right in my pouch. See the pouch? So the baby climbed into his mother's pouch, and the kangaroos came too. They each have a drum. The mom and dad each have a drum. When I went for a walk in the forest, an old gray stork, that's a big bird, was sitting down beside a pool of water. 
He sat so still, I had to go up very near him to make sure he was real. The stork stood up and looked at me. He did not say one word. But when I went back to my animals, that funny bird came too. Two little monkeys high up in the tree. <laughs> oh, they're playing ball up there. That's what they're doing. Playing catch. Sorry, the page got stuck. Okay. They stopped playing and they shouted when they saw me. A parade! We love a parade! <laughs> so they got their best suits out of a hole in the tree where they kept them. And they put them on and they came along too. When I went, and the two little monkeys came too. Oops, this is a big picture. When I went for a walk in the forest. I saw a rabbit behind a tall weed. Don't be afraid, I called him, if you want to go too. You can walk up front with me, and the big animals won't bother you. So the rabbit came too. I wonder what's going to happen when they all where they're going. I blew my horn. Dun, 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 dun. The lion roared. Rah! No, that's an elephant. Wait a minute. Rah! There we go. The elephants trumpeted through their trunks. Rah! The big bears growled. Rah! You can do it too. Make the noises with me. The kangaroos drummed. Boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom. The stork clapped his bill. That's a hard sound to make. I'll bite my teeth like that. The monkeys shouted and clapped their hands, but the rabbit made no noise at all when I went for a walk in the forest. We came to a place for picnic and games, so we stopped and ate peanuts and jam. I thought they were going to give some of that to everybody in the parade. And some ice cream and cake that were there. Who left ice cream and cake for them? Wow. We played drop the handkerchief one one time, all over till everybody had a turn. And that, so drop it and chasing it, chase somebody to pick it up maybe. Maybe it's a little like Duck Duck Goose. <clears throat> and we played London Bridge is falling down, falling down. Then I was it for hide and seek, and everybody hid, except for the rabbit. He just stood still. I don't think they're hiding that well yet. Kind of easy to see them. Coming, I called. Then I opened my eyes. Oh, now they're really hiding. <laughs> There wasn't an animal there at all, but there was Dad, and he was hunting for me and coming towards me in the forest. See him back there? Who are you talking to, he said. To my animals. They're, they're hiding, you see. But it's late, Dad said. We have to go home. Maybe they will wait till another day. So I called to them as I rode away. Goodbye, I said. Rode away on Dad's shoulders. Hmm. Don't go away. I'll hunt for you another day. When I come for a walk in the forest. They're gone, but the forest is still there, and he'll be back again. Okay, he'll be back and blow his fuel again. <laughs> Well, that feels just like we've all had a walk in the forest. At least it does to me. I hope you enjoyed the walk. See you in our next story, or maybe I'll do a song or two soon. Bye-bye.